Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 57, picking straight back up where we left off in the last episode. I'm going to continue with the Konar Slayer, um, hopefully get some more drops from Hydra, and um, yeah, maybe some of the unique stuff off of her uh, global loot table as well. Um, enjoy. There we go, that is the second piece of the ring. Um, three drops in 62 KC, cannot complain with that, so just need one last piece of the ring and the leather and I think that should be everything. Alright, we got kill number 100 coming in. Um, I'm really enjoying the boss, I have to say. Uh, I think it's really fun and the drops are really good for um, Iron Man, to be perfectly honest. Um, I suppose the only downside is the um, heavy prayer potion cost and also scales, but that's fine. Um, definitely going to keep doing these tasks until I get all of the uniques that I want. Alright, got a big level coming in after checking this papaya. 98 farming and 2100 total overall. Um, at the rate I'm going, 99 is not going to take me too long. I'm really enjoying the farming guild. i um, hoping to continue doing lots of the uh, farming contracts as well. Um, and I've got Hespori seed that's growing at the moment, so I'm hoping to check that in the next couple of days once that's grown because I really want the um, bottomless bucket as well that's going to be very useful for farming. There we go, that is another rare drop. That is the last piece of the ring. So literally all I need from this boss now is the leather to make the gloves. I really don't care about the Hydra tail. If I get it, I get it. But otherwise, if I get the leather, I'll be pretty much done. All right, so I should just put these together and I will have the brimstone ring, which I think will actually be quite useful for a few places, probably raids most of all. Um, it's a pretty good tribid ring and it's got the uh, special effect of ignoring magic defense, I think, at some point. I think it's like 10%. I might, that, that might not be correct. It might be 25%. I can't actually remember. Um, it might be decent for DKs, but I probably won't bring it along anyways because the prayer bonus from the suffering is probably more useful there. Um, but a very nice drop to get. And um, yeah, like I said, just going for the leather for the ferocious gloves now. All right, so um, finally grew my first Hespori and defeated it. So can we get anything good? Atas seeds. Yeah, not bad. All right, that is the last kill of the first Hydra task. Have to say, very lucky to get the lance and the ring completed in my first task. Just gonna keep doing Konar Slayer and hope to get the uh, leather on my next Hydra task. Well, that didn't take long at all. So another Hydra task and just gonna continue killing the boss and uh, hopefully get some more unique drops. Um, it's pretty decent ranged XP as well. So all in all, can't complain. For any Iron Man out there who are growing their snake grass, I highly recommend getting the Amulet of Bounty. It has um, a 1 in 10 chance of saving you seeds when you plant the snake grass, um, but it doesn't reduce it from a usage of 3 seeds down to 2. It actually reduces it to just 1 seed that you need per patch, which is really nice. Saves you a lot of seeds uh, in the long term. And yeah, I also recommend using the Hasidius patch because it's the only allotment patch, as far as I'm aware, that actually is protected so you'll never lose your snake grass plants to disease which is pretty nice um, yeah obviously getting a lot of these for herbal which is very handy all right got my second Hespori can we get anything good um, Kronos seed meh and that is 98 ranged at Hydra, and the entirety of that level was done here. The XP is actually not too bad, um, it's about 100k an hour, so um, yeah, if I don't get the leather and um, continue doing these tasks, I'll probably get 99 fairly soon. I just got the pet at 250kc. I cannot believe my luck at this boss. Oh my god, this is genuinely one of the best looking pets in the game, in my opinion. Look at it! And you can change it between all the different forms. So it's like four pets in one, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know what to say. It's like a one in 3,000 drop. And I've only really got the leather to get at the boss now until I've completed it. Because the tail, unless they um, update it to be much better, I don't have any interest in getting. So um, 
Yeah, wow, cannot believe I just got that. All right, so of course, as is customary, have to come and insure the pet for 500K and uh, take a look at the pets that I've got overall. Am I missing one? No, I'm not, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so those are all my pets. Um, two unique pets compared to my main now and the Hydra being the pick of the lot. One thing I have just realized about the pet though is that it's called Ickle Hydra, which I don't really like. Um, I think there's a similar name for the um, Theatre of Blood pet. I think it's called like Lil Zik or something, which, yeah, I don't know. I think they probably could have thought of something a bit cooler. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of that name. Another Hydra's Eye, so that's going to take up a bank space. It would be nice, I guess, if I got the other two pieces and then could have a second ring to save a bank space, otherwise I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, but yeah, another rare drop here, can't complain. Alright, that is the last kill of the second Hydra task, another very successful one. Um, and we'll be coming back hopefully soon to try for the leather again. Alright, another Hespori to clear, can we get the bucket? That would be very nice. Ooh, white lily seeds, that's actually pretty good because that means that I can use those for the farming contracts where I've not been able to do that previously. 18 of them as well, which is pretty nice. Um, and I can't remember what that one does. I think that might be the disease um, reduction. So not really the most useful one, but yeah, happy with the lily seeds. Got myself a full trident of the seas, which is quite nice because I'll probably just empty that for the runes. I'm pretty sure that's only the second one I've received from here. Um, I don't really remember getting too many of these to be honest, um, but it's a nice drop to get. Hey, there we go, another Hydra task, 165, so I actually can't remember what Casey I ended up at the end of the last task. This will probably take me over 400, maybe up to 500, can't quite remember. Um, yeah, hoping for the leather in this task. One thing I completely overlooked is the fact that with the um, Falador Medium Diaries, you get a 10% um, bonus to XP at the allotment patches at this um, at this farm, which is pretty nice. So with the uh, White Lily planted, the snake grass never dies, and you're getting 90 per pick, or 90.5 XP, which is pretty good. So um, we're going to have two patches set up here for snake grass, and then two at uh, the... Hosidious patch as well, I think. Ooh, 161 dragon arrows, I'll take that. And there we go, that is a second Hydra's Fang, so if I get the heart now, I can make a second Brimstone Ring. Got an Elite Clue from Hydra, what can we get? Ooh, I was kind of hoping to get a new Master Clue, because I've still been trying to uh, get a new one, because obviously I haven't got the flare trousers, but maybe next time. Hey, there we go, that is the uh, second Hydra's Heart, and that will be the second Brimstone Ring. Um, kind of hoping I can finish the boss before getting another Hydra's Eye, to be honest. That's got to be pretty rare from the uh, Hydra boss. I know it's got a pretty high chance of hitting the rare drop table, but definitely didn't want that. I thought it was a claw again for a second there. Well, this level has been massively brought forward by the Farming Guild, but at long last, 99 farming, which is quite a nice level to get on an Iron Man, I have to say. Um, definitely going to go and pick up the cape because the extra 5% increase to picking herbs will be very nice. I'm going to plant all of my spirit trees because I can have one in every patch now. And um, yeah, I probably will do some um, tree runs post 99. I've probably only do the really good seeds so like magic and use I think I'll do and then probably palm trees dragon fruit and possibly papayas because um, I would like to try and get the pet even though um, it is pretty rare um, but yeah otherwise free up a little bit of bank space by getting rid of some of the uh, lower level sapling placeholders and um, yeah I'm really pleased to get this one so the farming skill cape was actually the first one that I got on my main account um, and I had that as a trimmed skill cape for a very long time. Um, so this one has a fair bit of use for me as I said and of course have to do the, uh, the emote which I think is a pretty cool one. Oh yeah, also going to get 99 range today. How about this for back to back clips? Two 99s in one episode, there is 99 ranged. Um, 
Again, another level that has been sped up massively by the Kebos Lowlands update. I've done pretty much um, 96.5 to 99 exclusively on Hydra Task, which is really nice. Um, yeah, uh, this is where I get undone because I can't talk and concentrate on what the number of attacks it's done is. So I'll end the clip and I'll uh, come back in a sec. What I was trying to say in that clip was I'm not going to pick up the skill cape for range because I don't think it's going to have too much use for me. Um, if I do find any point that I do want to get it, obviously I will, but with um, the upgraded accumulator after Dragon Slayer 2, I think that's probably my best option for most places. Um, but yeah, that's actually pretty much it for this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Um, it was really, really nice to finish 299s in this episode. Um, wasn't really expecting to do both, if either, to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, the farming guild made it so much easier to um, to get the seeds for 99 with the hard farming contracts, giving quite a lot of nice high-level fruit tree and tree seeds. Um, and yeah, just being quite lucky to get the three Hydra tasks, um, which were giving really nice ranged XP um, to get 99 there as well. Um, but to be honest, the, the pet more than anything else was um, was the best thing this episode. I definitely wasn't expecting that. Um, I think it is the best pet in the game in terms of looks. Um, that might just be because it's new and a bit exciting, but um, very pleased to get that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching today's episode um, and hopefully see you in time for the next one. Take care.